you kept launched their manifesto today and their signature policy is zero net migration they also have a moratorium on low skilled immigrants this is to tackle the issue of social dumping where companies bring in loose low wage workers from another country to drive down the wages of the poorest in the country they are bringing the low skilled immigrants to and another UKIP policy is no amnesty for illegal immigrants another policy is extreme vetting and ideology test this is similar to Trump's policy in America an example of which is banning Wahhabis for their views on women and gay people this is basically an ideology test to find those Inclined to far right views which aren't in the mainstream pr of British society. You kept want to close the Department of International Development and put the ten billion pounds saved into the NHS. It's always good when there is more investment in the National Health Service and the aid from the Department of International Development isn't reaching the people deserving of said aid. I've already covered the burqa and niqab ban by UKIP on alternative political analysis and UKIP want a moratorium on new Islamic faith schools they also want a ban on Sharia courts in Britain and this is to tackle the spread of the Wahhabi ideology they also want to make failure to report genital mutilation a crime and in addition they want an investment of nine billion pounds a year for the National Health Service and two billion pounds a year for social care in Britain you keep want to train 10,000 new doctors a year and UKIP want a £500 million pound a year increase in mental health spending every year and UKIP want to scrap the cap on National Health Service frontline staff pay that's a good policy that one as is the previous two policies They want to abolish the TV license and they want to cut the value added tax. They want no tax raises. What if they need to generate revenue in a crisis? And uh, under UKIP's tax plan, those who make over £55,000 a year would pay. 40% in income tax. You kept want to scrap inheritance tax. These are bad policies. They want to open a grammar school in every town. So they just don't get it. Finland, the best education system in the world, has a comprehensive system. A better policy from UKIP is they want tuition free further education in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and medicine. They want increases of staff in policing by 20,000, um, prison officers by 7,000 and border agency staff by 4,000. UKIP also wanted to deport 13,000 foreign criminals in Br British jails. This will free up the space and also get rid of unwanted violence in Britain. Another bad policy they want to keep trident. They want to keep a genocidal weapon of mass destruction 
that in all probability will never be used. Another good policy is that UKIP want to bring in proportional representation voting. And to finish off, another um, ill thought out policy in my opinion, abolish the House of Lords. So what's to stop a megalomanic autocrat as Premier if the Lords do not check the Commons? All in all, I think it's a mixed bag of good and bad policies and it's not like UKIP are going to get elected to implement them anyway and to be honest I don't think either Corbyn nor May have much to worry about from this manifesto.